Welcome back guys to our glorious Draconian Empire here in Civilization 5. In last episode we left off when we just finished the construction of the Moon Door in Dragon Hall, if I'm not mistaken. Um, which is pretty amazing because, well, the Moon Door basically is just the entrance for our dragons into our capital city. Because, you know, obviously they're flying creatures so they need to get in somehow. Um, so yeah, uh, that's basically uh, what this is for. And um, we can apparently now construct a new project in Dragon Hall. I think it's pretty uh, it's pretty clear what we need to do. I think we need more men. Um, and I'm thinking about another swordsman. Um, or maybe... Hmm. No, actually we need some more ships. Do I want a drone on or do I want another skied? Um, or a forge. 15 production. Plus 15% production we're building landing units and one production for this iron resource. That doesn't really seem all that useful, honestly. Um, so, I guess, do I want this? Ra this is range. I like ranged more, but it's slower. Um, and the overall strength is a little bit lower as well. But it's also built one turn faster. I think I'm building another Dromond. I think I want to build another drone on here. And do we have another Great Prophet? What? Oh no, no, that's the one. Okay, never mind. Okay, so uh, Taldak then. Yep, keep moving forward. Oh my god, this is so slow. I want my settler. Gee, that's just taking so long. Alright, so Martin's Landing is still under threat. Man, this is probably never gonna stop. I think, yeah, you're gonna finish off these guys, and the Blood Riders will finish off uh, these archers. Great. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're going to use you to scout this area a little bit, just so we know what's going on. Alright, alright. Let's go on that hill as well. Okay, so nothing here. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Good. So, your spy agent, Empress Ellison, killed a veiled spy in Dragon Hall while they were trying to steal the technology. Uh-huh, okay. Well, good job. My wife is doing a good job. I like it. I like it indeed. Let's have a look at her. How is she doing? Okay, so she is now... An agent. Kaur Sagari is still just a recruit. He's not really been doing much in Sunhold, but that's fine. Uh, he's keeping it safe nonetheless. Um, what Walker and your Nefer? Uh, I don't really care about it too much. And yes, that's what we already know. Alright, so uh, Matthew, I. Can you actually. You cannot move here, right? Yeah, you can't. Um, you cannot attack them. You know what? I think I'm just going to move you back. You've discovered what you can over here. So I think it's it's safe to say um, that you can uh, be dismissed for now, I guess. All right. I'll send Toby's lines forward. We could. Actually, it may have been stupid. No, it was stupid. Totally stupid. Yeah. Because we could have shot these guys and then taken out the... That was actually the plan. Ah, oh, man. All right. Never mind. We'll, we'll do that later. Okay. Um... We have a new Septon, yeah, that we bought. So let's go and convert High Garden. Um, do they already have some Dragon Cult followers? They do. Actually, it says two, but it's not enough. I don't know. Let's do it again. Spread religion once more. And this should be way more people. Yeah, seven followers now. That's pretty good. All right, and then we're going to move on and convert the people in Tumbleton. Awesome. Alright, and we have our crossbowmen. I want to send these crossbowmen over to uh, Martin's Landing because we need them. We need them to defend our new city. Indeed. Okay, then we have the Titanic in the south. Still uh, trying to explore some more things. Okay, oh, look at that. What's that? That's a wolf pack. A northern dire wolf pack. Pretty cool. Yeah, I, I really thought that Winterfell was. Um, much further away from the coast than it actually is. I guess that's good, though. Okay, so, uh, Brutal Herald has been upgraded, so we're gonna send them back to being fortified in Pentos right now. And the Sea Wing can continue its voyage as well. Awesome. So, yeah, there's our settler. Hopefully, we're gonna get this settler back. Man, if that settler turns into a worker, that'd be so terrible. I'd be quite devastated, actually. So, I don't know. Do I want to land? No, I think I want to continue here. Maybe I want to land now. <sighs> what do I do? I could land and build a city, right? Um, one, two, three. 
I kind of feel like the I should I kind of feel like I should build the city right here honestly on that tile um, but no I, I did want to get that one I think we're gonna build the other one over here yeah or maybe not mm, no I or maybe on that hill I think you know what this is hill is that a hill no this is jungle and river this is marsh and river uh, alright you know what you guys you're gonna move over there um, there's a veil tree rain. Yeah, you're gonna move over there. Take that spot. And then we're gonna build a second settler to perhaps build build uh, something over here. Yeah. And you have already moved. Okay. Dromont, you can just explore some more of the polar region. All right. Um. So you're actually making me disembark now. Mm. Fine. I guess we're gonna go this side then. All right, and that was it already. Okay, cool. So we can move on to the next turn. And look, Pete of the Veil regret any confusion caused. You know what? Um, I cannot forgive this. Um, we've had that before. We've we've forgiven the Reach, and they betrayed us again. So I'm assuming you're gonna do exactly the same thing. So I have no interest in in helping you out here. And what's this? What's what's going on here? Why oh, there's so many ships? One of them... Oh, those are swordsmen or something. Okay, we can promote new units. Alright, so let's let's first maybe do something else. Okay, no, never mind. Okay, so we've built cross bowmen. So we're going to have to have a quick look at uh, people that we can build. Right. I... Hmm. Now I'm going to have to quickly look around. This is Zaha Strickalan. Okay. These crossbowmen. I think these crossbowmen were the ones um, supposed to be Brandon Wolf. I think. Yeah. Hopefully I'm not doubling anything. But yeah, I think that's the one. Alright. So that's Brandon Wolf, uh, who's commander of these crossbowmen. Yep. And then we're going to give him... Hmm... Open terrain or rough terrain? Well, that's a question. Where do we all want to put him? Um, if I put uh, these guys, who are oh, they don't even have a name just yet. Oh, I see. So those are the ones I wanted to name Brandon Wolf. Okay, I see. And they have what? Against students in rough terrain. Um. Okay, so I think. Well, there is a couple rough terrain, but most of this is plains. Okay, you know what? No. You are going back to High Garden. Um, I have to give you a name later. And you will be trained for uh, open terrain. And I'm actually going to send you over to Martin's Landing. There we go. Yep. Okay, and then we have some more invulnerables over here in Sunhold, and uh, I think I will give the invulnerables to... Right, uh, so I'm gonna... This is... Oh, okay, so here we are. This is a new guy. So we have Duran Haraldson, which is another son of Harold the Brutal. This is the third son of Harold the Brutal, and he is now uh, trying to become a general as well. So uh, this is going to be Duran Haraldson. There we go. Yeah, so we have quite a lot of uh, this this Haraldson clan. Is that not fitting? Oh, that, that doesn't fit. You know what? I guess I'm going to have to get rid of 1S um, just so we can actually make it fit. Yeah, there we go. And I think, what do I want to send them? Uh, who do I have here? This is Taldak, Taldak Then. Uh, so I think I want to send these guys over here as well. Mm, perhaps not. I no. I think I want to send these over to Dragon Hall. Yeah. And then Titus and you will be fighting in rough terrain. And Titus Snow, I will send over over here as well. Yeah. All right. That's how we're gonna do it. Uh, Thirteen turns. That's quite some time. 
I think that's how we're gonna do it, yeah. Alright, and we can build something new here. What do I... I think we could use some workers, right? Um... I thought I did build some workers. Apparently not. Okay, so let's build a new worker here. And choose a production in Sunhold as well. Well, I'm thinking... Uh, maybe a catapult could be useful. Let's build a catapult. Yeah, why not? Because we can't have our dragons everywhere, and we, I've been I've been relying on them too heavily. I think so. Yeah, we, we need to get some other uh, equipment as well. All right. Um, and Matthew. Okay, so now they've actually taken this. Uh, too bad. Mm, okay, Toby's lines. Now I'm gonna have to send. No, I have to send you to protect these settlers, and I want them to settle over here. Yep. I'm gonna send you to protect them, and you can shoot at these guys. You can actually kill them. Ah, that's good. And I can send you over here, and you can take over this next turn. That's the plan. Alright. And uh, our Septon has already spread his faith here, so we're gonna send them over here. I guess it's not really a Septon, it's more a Fire Priest. But that's fine. Okay, so now Tumbleton is also following uh, the Dragon Cold. Awesome. That's how it should be. Just as it should be. Alright, so there's some more Swordsmen. But if you want to use the Blood Riders to actually scout the area a little bit, just so we know what's actually going on. Although, perhaps I want to send them back and deal with these archers? Nah. I want to scout a little bit. I want to find a way to Sunspear. That could be quite useful. Alright, the Titanic... I'm just going to send you over here. Oh yeah, look at that. Winterfell has a little uh, river. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Alright, the, the Sea Wing. We still have Sea Wing here with Rudring, Rudrick uh, Coinmaker, I think. I think that's him? Yeah, must be. Um, cool. Okay, well, maybe we're going to actually discover some more of this land while we're at it. Yeah. And the dr this Roman down here that I haven't given a name yet. I'm gonna send it explore. And the Great Prophet, you're gonna move. Come on, move forward. And spread your religion. There we go. So Port Morak is now going to be following the Dragon Cult. Just doesn't show just yet. Oh, it's only five. I see. So do I want to use his second spread of religion? No, I, c I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to. Okay, well, let's just move on to the next turn for now. Who? We're making some decent cash. Oh, we, we need it. We need to build more men, especially with our colonies now. Uh, slowly getting done. It's such a, such a shame that we actually lost these guys in Urgaroth because uh, it just takes ages to get over here. I just should not have split up my, my forces. It was it was foolish. Uh, Ptolemy has completed his greatest work. The list of the most progressive people. That's social policies. Wow. So Peter is at 16. We are at 12 the next ones. Doran has 12 and Rob as well. So they have a lot of culture. And we still have met 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, 5 players. No, 4, four players we have not met. That's amazing. Um, but yeah, I think our great prophet. Do we want to fully convert this? Or do we want to move on? Now King's Landing does not have any pressure Mm, seven. Right, and we have five followers. No, you know what? No. Um, we're just gonna move forward. That's fine. Um, I'd rather spread each religion once. Although, no, actually, that, that just makes it take longer. No, we're gonna spread religion twice, and then we're gonna spread religion twice in King's Landing, and I think that's, that's good enough. Um, Martin's Landing can attack some more enemies. Jesus. These guys are relentless. But at least the city is powerful enough, almost, well, I was saying that, um, to take care of these guys. Um, okay, I guess it's time for the Blood Riders to come back, but I kind of, let's, let's check out what's, well, I guess there's not really anything too important to check out. Uh, no, we need to, we need to defend our city. Uh, yeah, and the city has grown, that's good. Port Morak has completed its project. And Harren Hall wants to help, but I'm not interested in helping them. Alright, Durin Haraldson, there we go. I'm going to send you in here. And you are going to 
fortify Dragon Hall. Indeed. Okay, and Roderick, yeah. Um, you are going to fortify as well, and um, I need to remind. Yeah, I need to uh, remember to rename you to the Fire Foxes. But I am remembering it, so it's just gonna take a while until you can actually upgrade. Okay, and send Lowell Marston afterwards. And you, this worker has finished building. Um. Okay, that's fine. So I guess, what could I use you for? So we're gonna have that. I think we can just finish the road over here. These two tiles. Yeah, I mean, might as well. It, it, roads really don't cost as much, so might as well build it just so we can really walk fast. And you have, you have built the lumber mill. Do we need anything else built? Dragon Hall, no. So I think I can send you, I can send you over here to, uh, yeah, perhaps build something over here. 13 turns. Man, it sure takes quite, quite some time. Alright, so we're going to use... Actually, can you can you kill them? You can. Alright, you're going to kill them. And then we're going to use the Arborette to shoot, shoot this ship. Alright, we dispersed the Encampman. And the Arborette is now killing them. And Vilnos and Old Town both like us now. Okay, that's good. They're mercantile, which means extra happiness. Okay. We already have spices and porcelain, so that's nothing new. What about, um... That's Old Town. They have dyes, and they're cultured, which means we gain extra culture. Alright, that's good. How much culture are we getting from the... Uh, wow, 12! That's a lot. That's actually a lot indeed. Alright, so we're friends with these two. That's probably useful since we're kind of trying to get our foothold here. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. Alright, what now? Uh, the Titanic. Okay, let's uh, go here. Move through. More things to explore. It seems as though uh, there might be a bigger bay area here. That's possible. We'll see. Alright, the Sea Wing. We're off to uh, discovering some more things. Pretty cool. Still taking ages until we can get our settlers back. Alright, I think I want to move them along the coast for now. Yeah. And we're actually catching up with our uh, swordsmen a little bit. That's good. Alright, this Roman can also discover some more things. Very nice. And we can already move on to the next one. So yeah, turns out getting a little bit faster, which is good. Uh, Peter's already in the Seven Kingdoms age. Wow. Um, where are we actually? What are we... What are we researching right now? Physics. Yeah, well, Peter has already researched that quite a while ago. And now we've just finished connecting copper. That's pretty impressive. And that's going to help us out with Mur and Ashai. Both of them. Well, that's good. They're our uh, longest allies. Yep. 240... 46 relations with them. And Ashai has 112. That's good enough. Alright. Martin's... Yeah, Martin's Landing can shoot again at these white walkers. Yep, kill them. And I guess since these uh, guys are away, I guess we, we can use that chance and explore some more. Yep, get on that hill as well. So we now know the road to Sunspeed. It's not really that far away. We might actually be able to build a second settlement here um, to just consolidate our power and maybe protect this uh, this little narrow pass, I guess. If we build a city right here, we could definitely easily defend. Alright, cool. So, we can build something with faith. I think we're gonna just build a... We're gonna build something in in here. Yep, a matter of mountains. Yep, we're gonna do that. Extra happiness, culture and faith. There we go. Awesome. And we need a new production. In Dragon Hall, we've just built another Dromond. Alright, so I think this one will be the... Uh... Okay, let me let me get this. I want to name this ship the Peters. There we go, that's what we're going to call it. The Peters. Now, um, the Admiral of the Peters, his name is Pete, and he was a worker in Pentos. And um, all the time as, as he's been working there, 
he was looking at the ships, uh, you know, in, in the harbor, and he decided that uh, he wants to become an admiral as well, especially after his father, who was a sailor, died, um, and his ship got uh, stolen by bandits. So uh, he then decided that he wants to have a ship of his own uh, again and be an admiral. So there we go, we have Pete, commander of the Peters, and I think we want to use our ships... Hmm, I think we want to use it mostly against... I think land units. Yeah, well, we want to use it against land units. Um, but I would like to have the extra mobility. Yeah, I definitely like the mobility. Um, that's awesome. So there we go, a new ship. And guys, that was the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Chief Jonka, signing off.